Hey guys, Matt Massey here. Just got back from Lake Cumberland and I want to do a quick little video about my three favorite springtime trocar hooks. So to begin with, <clears throat> I would say my all-time favorite hook that Eagle Gloss Road car makes is a TK-130. That hook right there, that's a 4-aught. I use 4-aught, 5-aught primarily. It's got a little plastic keeper right up there on the shank of the hook that will actually keep your bait in place so it doesn't slide down when you're casting or, or dragging it through cover. It's got that super sharp trocar hook point and it's a heavy duty wire heavy wire hook you're not going to bend this ever this hook right here is great for any type of plastics that you want to fish i use a lot of uh, rage bugs or rage craws um, you know any type of creature baits it's a perfect hook for about anything you want to do right there that straight shank gives you a better hook set and less lost fish from my experience you'll catch and land more fish with this straight shank hook than you will with any other style hook made so that straight shank tk 130 is a must have and is always tied on one of my rods Another great type of hook to use this time of year. Um, the bass are getting, you know, we're, we've been spawning down here in Florida for a while, but throughout the other parts of the country, you're gonna start to see some more fish moving up to spawn here soon. And a great way to catch them is a, is a wacky rig. This is the TK-137. Um, let me show you the pack here. The TK-137 Finesse Wacky Hook. Or Weed This... The Weed This Finesse Hook, right? So it has that Pro-V bend. It's got a, a plastic little weed guard right there. And it works great for fishing a wacky rig, Cinco, or any type of a worm. If you, you know, this, this is a wacky rig hook and that weed guard will actually allow you to pull it through vegetation or uh, wood cover, things like that without getting hung up. I know down here in Florida, we use this around uh, the docks in the canals, um, the weed lines in the pads, anywhere those bass are spawning and you need a real finesse presentation, this will get the job done. So that TK-137 weed this finesse hook perfect hook. Another hook that I'll use a lot of this time of year is the TK TJ 316. So this is a 3 uh, 3 16 ounce tube jig hook. Here's your tube jig. The way you rig this, you slide it right down inside your tube. It's very easy to do. Do it before you tie on the on your line, slide it up in the head, you'll push down and it pops right out. You can see the line tie right there. It's a perfect hook for tube jig fishing. The shank of the hook comes out past the leg so you have less obstruction there when, you, when you're setting the hook on that fish. This'll get them. Um, tube jigs are kind of notorious for losing fish. With this hook, you'll catch more fish, and you don't need to set the hook extremely hard. You just want to reel down till you feel that rod load up, and then pull into them, and you'll hook them every time. So, to sum it all up, we got the TK-130 flipping hook. Extra strong. It's got that keeper on there to keep your bait in place. You're going to catch more fish, period, with this hook. The Weedless Finesse for your wacky rigging hooks. This is a perfect hook for your Cinco, weightless Cinco, wacky rigs. This will get you through the cover 
and get the job done. And the TK TJ 316 tube jig hook. This little bait here, I basically grew up fishing in Colorado. We fished a lot of lakes with smallmouth bass that were rock um, structure, basically all rock, rip wrap, things like that, natural rock. This tube, this hook will get the job done. So the all right, guys, there you have it. Three of my favorite hooks that Trocar makes. They're tied on rods in my boat right now. Give them a try. I promise you'll catch more fish. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the water.